finally getting around to the old 427 here. Side oiler. Standard bore. Believe it or not, this was a running and driving motor. It was in a boat. Thought I'd take it apart though. Have a look inside, take a look at the bearings. The bearings weren't too bad. I did have them in a bag, so I don't know. Standard Ford bearings. Even the mains were Ford bearings. Plastic here. Would be pretty good shape. Didn't have the original heads to them. Did find a pair after I bought a single head there. So it did seem to have a little bit of issues before though, I think. Let me drop valve. These ones, I'm told nothing was wrong with them. Been ported and polished. Single, single barrel or single plenum. Bought that separately. Wouldn't say I had a good deal, but I wouldn't say I had a bad deal. One thing I did though is change those out for ARPs. Had the original ones in there. Heard those Lamont rods are not good, but not bad. Dollar sign crank over there. Now it's told maybe I should get those um, rods swapped out. Some aftermarket rods, but. Thought it'd be pretty cool to say, you know, everything is original in this thing, as far as I know. Had some aluminum heads, but I was like, man, I want to say I have a tunnel port just for fun. Don't know what the drivability is going to be on those things, but pretty cool. Might even stick it in that old thing just for fun. Really want to put it in a 67 Fairlane. Actually, look, found these two. 67 fender badges. Just like it was meant to be. <laughs> Everything has C7 on them, except for the carbs. Carbs are C8s. Original. Uh, tonal port carbs as well. Thought it was pretty cool. We'll see how it goes.